everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Brianna, AKA Brani. And if you're not new, thank you so much for returning. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing part two of my style series episode, whatever you want to call it. So this one is going to be how I put outfits together. Okay, so this has been a long time coming. It's been something that I've been trying for a long time, but I realized the reason why it was so difficult for me, someone said this on one of my videos. They pretty much said, it's probably really difficult for you to say how you put outfits together because it comes to you intuitively. And I was like, exactly. Like literally I do it in my head and I just kind of know what I like and I know what works for me and all that kind of stuff. So in a sense, it was hard for me to put my thoughts, my internal thoughts into a video. But I think that this is going to be pretty simple, pretty basic to follow. These are pretty much the steps that I follow subconsciously to put an outfit together every single time. So the first portion of this video is going to be styling tips and the steps that I take to put the outfit together. Part two is going to be me physically putting the outfits together. And then the third part of this video is going to be like a little bit of a fun part. It's going to be a game. So stay tuned for that. But give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys are excited about the remainder of the videos in this series. And if you've been enjoying the video so far, you guys love my last one. I truly appreciate all the love on that video. It actually took a little minute, you know, your girl was trying to get up her edits. Also, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say, you guys, clearly you can see my setup is coming together. Do not mind this shelf, it is chaotic right now. I just had to put stuff on it for the video because I didn't want it to be naked. And I got my chair today, got my little throw. You guys are gonna see the whole, you know, makeover. I am recording it and I'm gonna let you guys know where everything's from and stuff like that. But let me know if you like this little setup so far. I just wanted to be chill vibe, cozy, all that jazz. And also I will have everything that I'm wearing linked in the description box, including this hair. I posted the video on this hair Monday of this week. So go check that out if you haven't. But I wanted to get everything out of the way. So let's go. So here I have my handy dandy iPad, just like in my last video. Everything is nice and organized and I'm just gonna go down the list. So the very first thing I recommend is to find the piece that you want to wear the most, pretty much. So that could be anything from a top, a pair of bottoms, a jacket, uh, literally some earrings, a bag, some heels, sneakers, whatever it is that you wanna wear, grab that and that's what you're gonna base your entire outfit around. So with that being said, it does not have to be one item. It could be a top and a pair of shoes. It could be a bag and some earrings. It could be multiple things, but then you just fill in the gaps, if that makes sense. So like I said, with that item or items, you're going to take those pieces or that piece and style around it. So with that, there are a few things that I recommend. I don't necessarily go by all of them and I'll tell you why in a minute, but there are a few things that I factor in when building my outfit around this piece. And the first thing is occasion. I feel like occasion is gonna be the biggest because that kind of dictates everything. So if you're going to a wedding, for example, you already know that there's a specific type of attire to wear to a wedding. So you know what kind of outfit you're gonna to need to wear. If you're just going to a friend's house or just going to hang out or going to get drinks or something real casual, you're not gonna put on a ball gown. You know, you get the point. So basically whatever the occasion is, you kind of know how you need to dress or how you wanna dress in the first place so that's going to also narrow it down a little bit and then the next two things i will say are optional and i say that because the second thing is the weather there's some people who do not care what the weather is they're going to wear whatever they want basically so that's why i say this one is kind of optional because sometimes you know you want to wear these really cute open toe lace up heels all the way up your legs but it's 30 degrees outside you know so if you are someone who is more fashion over function then just go right ahead. Okay, go ahead and wear them shoes and freeze your little toes off. But if you're someone who's more like, uh, no, I'm dressing for the weather, you're probably gonna put on a pair of boots and some socks or even sneakers or just something closed toe, you know? And so the last thing that I feel like is kind of helpful, but it's also not necessary is your mood. So obviously if you're not in the mood to wear some heels or if you're not in the mood to wear sneakers or whatever the case is, you're not gonna wear that type of item, you know? But there are some times where I'm not in the greatest mood, right? So I'm about to go out. I don't want to go to where I'm going in the first place. And I'm just like, eh, whatever, I'll go. So you put on your outfit, you get all cute, and then you feel amazing. You feel like, okay, let's do this. Let's take this night by storm, you know? So that's why I say the mood is kind of optional. So for your mood, I feel like it could either be literally how you feel in the moment, like I just don't want to go, or I just, I'm not in the mood to wear heels. 
you know that's like two completely different ends of the spectrum so i would gear more towards the other end as opposed to saying like i'm not in the mood because that can easily change and you know if you don't want to wear heels and you just don't want to wear heels i don't know if that makes any sense but like I said, mood for me is kind of like iffy. I don't always go off of that, but sometimes I do. But I just wanted to add that in there because it could kind of narrow down everything. Everything that I add, I feel like kind of narrows down it a bit instead of making it so broad. So something that I feel like is gonna be pretty much incorporated into any styling video is to find inspiration, find style inspo. For example, you take that piece or those two items or whatever it is that you really want to wear and you're still kind of stumped on how to fill in the blanks or what you should pair with it, literally, the internet is going to be your friend. I feel like it's 2022 and people still don't maximize the internet. There's so much on the internet, it's insane. And I think we all know that, but some people just don't know what to search and what to type. And just a quick plug, the next video is going to be how I shop online because I get that question all the time on how I find some of the pieces that I find and how I find things to match with things. Y'all, that's gonna be the next video. So thumbs up if you're ready for that one. But you basically wanna go on the internet and literally look for whatever it is that you're trying to style. So if you're trying to style a black skirt to go to the club, put in black skirt club outfits or black skirt going out outfits or black skirt night out outfits and you're gonna find inspiration. You're gonna find somebody wearing a black skirt to the club or you're gonna find some sort of inspiration picture or inspo photo and it's gonna help you. So the next thing, you must do okay is try it on okay try it on do not just assume that it's going to look good in your head there are some times where i literally put something on that i've been putting together in my head for months and it looks trash like i'm like what this looks terrible and i don't know what i was seeing in my head but it does not look the same when i look in the mirror so try it on try it on please try it on especially if you have some type of event to go to do not do this the day of or the day before please do it ahead of time so that you have time to kind of work with if it doesn't work out. So when you're trying on these pieces, this is when you go in and accessorize and add things and take away things and stuff like that. So for me, when I'm putting an outfit together, I kind of already know what accessories I'm gonna wear with it. But sometimes, like I said, you don't really know what it looks like until you put it on. So when I have the outfit on, I'll look in the mirror and I'll see what's missing sometimes if my neckline is out a little bit i'm like okay i definitely need on a necklace or if my arms are out like this for example or even if it's a long sleeve shirt sometimes a really nice watch this will be linked below from jbw by the way i'll have my coupon go down there as well but this is one of those pieces that looks good pretty much with anything so if you have your go-to accessories your everyday accessories that go with everything definitely wear those or if you want to try something a little different you could switch it up and wear some extravagant earrings or anything like that for me i keep it very minimal when it comes to my earrings i wear pearls i do have a couple of pairs of like designer hoops but for the most part i don't really do too much with my ears it's my arms okay and my neck i love me a good neck piece okay layering stacking all that adding a bunch of bracelets adding bangles adding just anything that's my go-to and then rings of course rings are like everything to me i love to stack them i love to wear colored ones as you can see i have some cobalt in this shirt so i have on this cobalt ring just any type of jewelry maybe even sunglasses hair accessories are really big you could do bobby pins any type of clips a lot of people have been doing the i forget what they're called where you like twist up your hair and clip it in the back that's a really cute way to add a little oomph to your outfit and then speaking of hair hair to me is very important when it comes to putting your outfits together because in my opinion i feel like certain hairstyles do not look good with certain outfits and i think we can all agree on that maybe i don't know but you guys know i'm really big on that i posted this screenshot on my story months and months and months ago and i told you guys that i took all of these photos in the same day but if you look at the photos my hair is different in pretty much all of them some of them have the same hairstyle whatever but for the most part my hair changed throughout the photos and that's because i just i just i have to have my hair different if the outfit does not require this type of hair i'm gonna get the hair that it requires so just to elaborate on how i actually figure out the hairstyle for the outfit because i feel like i didn't really explain how i actually find the hairstyle to go with the outfit so for me i kind of just think about the vibe that i'm going for for the specific look the outfit is something that's giving more summer vibes typically i'm gonna have crimps i'm gonna have some loose deep wave curly hair something of that nature even straight hair because it's super flowy and just 
blows in the wind type of vibe. And then if it's something a little bit more on the edgier end, I always go for a bob. Bobs look so good with like streetwear, just anything that's super chic and just classy. I just love a good bob. Also, when you're looking up inspiration for your outfit, also look at the hairstyles that the people are wearing in the photos because that can also help you kind of see what hairstyles look good with the type of outfit or type of look that you're going for. I also feel like when you're actually trying on the outfit, you can kind of envision how you would want your hair to be in the first place. So that can also help you when you're in the phase of actually trying the outfit on, kind of think about the hairstyles that will look good with that based on the type of outfit it is, if that makes sense. So yeah, the hair is not that hard, it's not that difficult. You just kind of have to know what look you're going for with that outfit. Okay, so the last thing I would say after you've figured out everything that you wanna wear, everything looks good, your hair looks good, the accessories are popping, the outfit looks good, it's fitting nice, own it, okay? Own it. If you think you look good, okay, in that mirror when you're looking at yourself and you're confident, don't walk out the door and be like, shriveling up no sis you look good okay own it walk into that store walk into that party walk into that restaurant just like you were when you were looking in that mirror okay i know it's not easy i know it's very 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 difficult it's not something that i even mastered yet i'm still working on it but when i look good i feel good and i'm not gonna let anybody take that from me okay you know this is my moment okay let me have my moment okay so if you don't think i look good that's fine. I think I look amazing and that's all that matters. And on that note, okay, this next portion of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a real quick little thing that I do when I put outfits together sometimes. So I actually like to virtually put my outfits together because like I said, I do it in my head, but I'm a visual person. So after I do it in my head to kind of verify or confirm my findings, I like to go on to PicMonkey. That's where I make my thumbnails for my videos. I love PicMonkey. I love it. I have a monthly subscription. That's how much I love it because I use it so often. But I go in there and if I have a piece, for example, that I really want to wear, I'll take a picture of that, drag it into PicMonkey, and literally just make like a picture collage. You guys have seen like the photo collages of outfits and look inspo and stuff like that. I do that for my outfits, literally. So I'm gonna put on the screen the screen recording of me going into my PicMonkey and showing you the outfits that I've created in PicMonkey and then showing you the photo. This is just what I do sometimes when I'm putting outfits together. Even in my phone, sometimes I'll screenshot all the things that I want to wear with this item and I'll even do like a photo grid. Anything that I can see everything together is gonna help because you're gonna be able to see what works and see what doesn't work. And it's really, really helpful. I promise you guys, it's really helpful. I recommend getting any sort of like photo grid app on your phone so that you can just you know put pieces in there and see how they look collectively but yeah i love pick monkey this is what i do occasionally i haven't done it in a little while I haven't been posting anything recently so i haven't been putting any looks together on pick monkey but just just wait y'all i'm trying to get my life together i'm trying to get everything together as you can see everything's coming together so the looks are going to start flowing a little bit more so yeah the pick monkey situation i just want to show y'all that real quick because i felt like I had to include that in here because that is something that I do use to put my outfits together. And if you're a visual person, I recommend making collages, okay? It will help you. It will help you. I promise you it will. So this is the first item. I do have on some biker shorts, so don't mind that. But I have on this sweater. And this is what we're going to be styling as our top for the first look. So this is a sweater from ASOS. I featured it in a try-on haul like a couple months ago. And this is actually a men's sweater. As you can see, it has a lot of colors in it. It has pink, it has purple, green, black. So really with this type of sweater or type of top, you can go crazy, okay? You can pick any color in here, just have a field day. So with these types of pieces, I like to look at them and kind of decide what color I wanna bring out more of. And as you can see, majority, I would say, of this sweater is purple. So I would go for a color that's kind of sporadically in there. So either the pink, or the green and because I love green I'm gonna go with the green but pink would look really nice as well because as you can see there's like subtle hints of pink so bringing it out would just make it come out a little bit more but I'm gonna do the green because I love green so for the bottoms you could do any type of bottom or any type of material but because the sweater is a little fuzzy I think that either faux leather or just something plain and ribbed 
would look good with this or just some black jeans in general. But I have these black full leather pants because I kind of want to add a little bit of oomph to this a little bit, just a little bit, because the sweater's already doing enough. Okay, so now that we have the pants on, I'm going to kind of play around with it because obviously the sweater is pretty big, the pants are really tight, so you could easily go in and tuck, if I can get it, and tuck in a little piece of the sweater to kind of add a little bit of shape to it because you don't want to just look super boxy and then like i said i'm going to focus on the green in the sweater so i have a pair of heels that i know for a fact that i want to wear with this so these are the heels as you can see they are a pair of mules and these are from nasty gal when i seen these i had to get them because i've been loving me a little pop of color especially when it comes to my shoes and then with the bag sometimes i don't want to do too much of the same color so i do have a bag that's kind of like a bright neon green. And then I also have a bag that's purple. So we're gonna see which one looks better. And you guys let me know down below. I'm not really sure, I like both. But I'm gonna put the shoes on and I'll get a full body view, of course. But I'm gonna put the shoes on and then I'm gonna show you the bags. Okay, so as you can see, I have on the heels. I'm a little bit taller. So these are the two bag options that I have. And I hope it's showing up on camera. It's looking a little bright and washed out. But this one is like a neon green, like I said. And then this one is a subtle purple. And as you can see, it kind of has like a pastel kind of purple in it as well. So really either of these two options would work, but I'm gonna go for, hmm, I'm gonna look at the mirror. Yeah, you guys let me know down below which one you would pair with this. I'm gearing more towards this one because it just makes everything kind of pop a little bit more. But this one, I feel like if you wanna be a little bit more subtle, this one is gonna be your option. Or even if you have a hot pink bag, that would look really cute with this as well. And I picked this because it's very easy to style. Typically when you have something like this, it's really easy to style because you could just pick a color and move on. <laughs> so yeah, let me know which one you guys will pair with this or if you would just do like a hot pink bag in general or maybe even a black bag if you just wanna keep it super toned down and then your shoes would be your pop of color. So yeah, let me know down below and we're gonna move on to the next item. So next up we have this bag, and this is the bag that I'm gonna be styling, but you can pick any bag. If this is the bag that you really, really wanna wear, you're gonna base your entire outfit around that bag. So I want to wear this bag. I have not worn it yet, and I do plan to rock it really, really soon. But when I do wear this bag, I wanna go for more of a, like a chic, but casual type of look. So I don't wanna be too dressed down, but I also don't wanna be dressed up, if that makes sense. So the outfit that I would probably pair with this bag is the one that I'm wearing. So I have on this black bodysuit from White Fox Boutique. And then I have on these pinstripe pants from ASOS. And as you can see, they are nice and tailored at the waist, so they fit me really nicely. These are actually from the men's section. And as you can see, these have some gray stripes down them. And this is the vibe that I'm going for when I wear this bag. So to bring out the gray, obviously, I have the gray in these pants. And I also want to bring out even more gray with this outfit. You don't have to add anything on top, but because it is cooler outside, I figured I would add either a coat or a cardigan. So I'm gonna add that now. So this cardigan is from misguided and that is pretty much where I've gotten all of my staple long line cardigans from. This is, as you can see, the cardigan. It fits really baggy, just like I like it. And this is the vibe that I'm going for, like I said, when I wear this bag. I love the sleek black bodysuit and the tailored pant and then the oversized cardigan. So I went ahead and added a heel, as you could probably tell, but I added some pointed toe heels which very much so dress up this outfit but like i said i would want to keep it more casual so i would want to find more of like a chic type of slide i do have a pair of slides that you guys have seen a million times in different colors i do have those in black but i'm not sure if i like that with this outfit i'm going to show you guys so you guys have seen these slides a million different colors on my instagram and in my accessories video i believe and like i said this is the vibe that i'm going for but I don't know if I like these shoes specifically with this. So yeah, I wanted to keep it very casual down there, but I don't know if I like these necessarily with this outfit. So that's why I threw on the heels. But you guys let me know if you think these will look good with it. I'll try them on so you can see. But yeah, this is more of the vibe I'm going for, but this is the vibe that we're working with. So nothing wrong with either, but obviously I would like to be a little bit more comfortable than in these heels. So we're gonna move on to the last item, which is a pair of earrings or a piece of jewelry that you wanna base an outfit around. 
and that'll be the end of the demonstration portion of this video. So the very last thing that I'm going to be styling in this video are a pair of earrings and these are my Louis Vuitton hoops and I've had these for a little while and I low key forgot about them and when I remember it I was like sis you need to wear these damn earrings. These was like $800 sis and anybody got time. And I will link a dupe for these down below. They're like 80 bucks compared to $800. So typically when I wear these, I always go for a very sleek look. I don't know what it is, but I just have to. It gives very much expensive. It gives very much, you know, luxury. So I like to go for sleek looks, whether that be all one color. So all black is typically what I go for or white will look really nice. Even red looks good with these earrings. I've worn these with a red bodysuit and it looked really nice. And then I have on this bodysuit from Miss Lola and these faux leather pants from White Fox Boutique. So with this, I would typically go for a boot. I think a boot gives everything that it needs to give when it comes to a very sleek look. I'm gonna pair this with a pair of wedged boots and then I'm gonna go find some type of coat or jacket to wear over this because that will complete the entire look. So these are the boots that I would wear with this. These are just a pair of black wedged faux leather boots that I've showed you guys before. I believe it was also in my accessories video, but these I think would look really nice with this. They go with the pants. You could also do a knit boot to kind of add a little bit more texture to the outfit, but I really want to wear these. So I'm going to pair these with this and then I'm going to show you guys the coat. So to add a little bit more to the look, I'm going to take this houndstooth coat instead of wearing like a black coat or you can do any pop of color over this to kind of make it pop a little bit more but I'm just going to go with this because this is the only I don't think I have any bright colored coats but with a coat you could easily just put it over your shoulder like this and that's always a vibe love it I love me a good coat this coat is from Pretty Little Thing and I've had this for a little while and I really really like it it is quite oversized so it kind of gives that very not so tailored look, which I like, but I would probably just wear it over my shoulders and then have my tight outfit underneath peeking through. So here is the clutch. I got this from ASOS and this has been a very trendy bag. I've been seeing it all over the place. There is a designer version of this bag, which costs hundreds of dollars, but I got this on ASOS. I snagged her up as soon as I seen it and it was only like, it had to be like 40 bucks or something like that. I don't remember it. And I also got a discount because they were having a sale. So, but this I think would just add a nice little look to the outfit. It would also add a little bit more texture. I feel like everything underneath here is very flat and just sleek. And then everything on top just kind of gives it that extra pop. So yeah, this is the very last look we have in the demonstration portion of this video. I just wanted to show you guys how I put outfits together based on the type of piece it is. I literally use the same exact steps for each look. I didn't go too in detail about the occasion and the weather and all that when it comes to the outfits in this video, but obviously you can use those steps at your discretion. You don't even have to follow any steps if you don't want to. Sometimes I just put outfits together based on just, I don't even know, I just wanna wear this, that's it. I don't care where I'm going, I don't care what it is, I just wanna wear this. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to follow all these steps and follow all these rules. I just made a basic guideline to kind of help you guys out if you need some help. But yeah, this is the last look we have. Let me know if you guys like this. Like I said, we based this outfit off of these earrings, but you could do anything, okay, with these earrings. I just like to keep it very simple because these are my statement piece in a sense, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video and now we're gonna move on to the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration portion of this video. And if it helped you out, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. And now we're gonna move on to just a portion of the video that's not really necessary, but I thought it would be fun to add in this video because I did tell you guys that a big part of my outfits is finding the piece or pieces that I want to base the outfit around. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna show you guys three looks that I've done or that I've posted on my Instagram. And you guys are gonna tell me in the comments what piece did I base this outfit around, okay? So we're gonna scroll through my Instagram and I'm gonna pop up the photo when I find it. I'm gonna try to make it like not hard, but not so obvious, if that makes sense. So let's see. Okay, no, we'll just do the most recent look that I posted. So we're gonna go to the photo that I just recently posted because why not? I feel like it might be kind of obvious what I base this entire outfit around, but 
This is the photo. I'll have it up on the screen on either side. So, out of everything in this photo, the glasses, the jacket, the bag, the shoes, the pants, everything, what piece do you guys think I base this entire outfit around? I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds. So there's gonna be a 10 second countdown on the screen. And since I'm gonna do three outfits, you could do outfit one, outfit two, and outfit three. And then you could just put what you think the outfit was based around. So the first outfit is here on the screen and I'm gonna put the 10 second counter up now. So you can go down below and comment outfit one and then the item that you think I based the entire outfit around. So you can just put glasses, jacket, bag, shoes, pants, whatever it is, just put that next to the outfit number. So, 10 seconds. I think that's 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go to another look. Okay, so we're gonna do this look because this is literally one of my most, I don't even know the word, but everyone loved this look and it was just thrown together to be honest. But this outfit right here, the crop top, the green pants, the slides, the clutch, the glasses, all that. Outfit number two, what do you think I base this entire outfit around? 10, 9, 8. Okay, I think that's 10 seconds for outfit number two. Okay, so one more look. I'm gonna scroll, I'm going deep, y'all. I need to post some freaking photos. I don't know what I'm doing. I have so many outfits. I literally have an entire clothing rack full of outfits. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to pick something that's not so obvious. Okay, so this is a really old look, but this look right here, I posted December 6, 2020. That was the day before my birthday. Wow. But this look I posted, very monochromatic. But I feel like it might be a little difficult to figure out what exactly I based this entire outfit around. So the 10 seconds is gonna start now for outfit number three. Okay, I think that's 10 seconds. Okay, so you guys have your outfit one, outfit two, and outfit three. What you think I based the outfit around in the comments? Okay, y'all got it, y'all got it, y'all got it. All right, so the first outfit that we did, I based this entire outfit around the jacket. Obviously, I feel like that was really easy because there's a lot going on in the jacket and it's pretty much the focal point of the outfit anyway. So I figured that would be pretty self-explanatory. So now we're on to outfit number two, okay? So I based this entire outfit around the slides. I know a lot of people thought I was gonna say the clutch, the clutch literally just put everything together in the end, but I based this entire outfit around these slides. I was like, I wanna wear these weird ass shoes, so I need to find something to wear with it. So I was like thinking of colors that look really good with orange. And I don't know why I immediately thought of FAMU. I didn't go to FAMU, my friends went to FAMU, but I just, I don't know, I just thought about that and I was just like, hmm, let's see. So I remember I had these pants that I showed in a video from Boohoo and I put them on together and I was like, okay, this isn't giving, maybe if I find a top to tie in both the colors. And then I went into my closet and I found this clutch that I've shown you guys a million times from Zara and it literally brought the whole outfit together. I didn't even know that I was gonna find anything to go with all of this, but I literally started off this outfit wanting to wear the slides and that was it. This one right here with the monochromatic look, the boots, the bag, the plaid shirt, all that. So this outfit was actually based around these boots. So I wanted to wear these boots really bad. I got these from ASOS and I was like, I need to wear these boots now, like right now. But I couldn't find anything to wear with it because I was trying to stick with the color scheme. Like I wanted it to be a monochromatic look, but I didn't know how. So I ended up getting these pants on ASOS as well. And although they don't match completely, I was like, okay, I can work with this. We can work with this. So then I started to build the rest of the outfit. And then when I got this plaid shirt, probably like a month after I got the boots on Boohoo, I did a haul for them. I got this shirt and then I was like, oh crap, this like ties everything together. So I got the plaid shirt and then I was like, I just need a tan shirt to wear underneath it. And I already have a tan bag, which is from Shein. And the outfit came together. It's literally just all one color. 
but I love it so much. Now let me know if you guys enjoyed this part of the video, okay? I just wanted to add in something a little interactive, a little fun, and you know, see if you guys can kinda see how I work, you know what I mean? I cannot wait to do the rest of the videos in this series, and I hope it's helping you all so far. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this video, maybe anything that I left out. I wanted to keep it super basic. I didn't wanna go too in depth about mixing patterns and mixing colors because I feel like that's just, that's literally a whole nother video in itself. So with that being said, we're gonna get out of here. I love you all so, so much. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see the looks that I post literally in the next, I wanna say the next week. I'm gonna post something this week, I have to. I posted last week, but I have to post something this week. I gotta start getting back posting. So follow me over there so you guys can see the looks that I have coming. And with all of that being said, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna clean her up. We're gonna get this room together so I can show you guys my office tour. And I will see you all in my next one.